Yeah. All right, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. Brothers, coming to you again with this truth. First and foremost, we love to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. The true leaders of all Israel on earth today, whether you can receive it or not, much love, salutations to the Akim scattered abroad across the four corners of the earth, pushing his word in sincerity and in truth, risking their lives and freedom to do so. To you, we say Shalom, as well as to the few sisters who take heed to our lessons. All right, and we, uh, a couple brothers, you know, the GMS Cleveland branch, you know, after camp, doing a quick in transit, you know, and wanting to speak on, you know, uh, uh, you know, different scriptures that come to mind, man. You know, it's gonna be like a various topics, man. All right, but uh, brothers was just sitting back uh, speaking about what? Well, uh, Ezekiel, the uh, I got you. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, this is Ezekiel. I'm starting from the top. Ezekiel 7, verse 1. It says, More of the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, thus says the Lord Yahweh unto the land of Israel, and end, the end is come upon the four corners of the land. It says, Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee. And will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense thee, and will recompense upon thee all thy abominations, man. Yeah, because when you read the scriptures, man, our Lord and Savior, he left behind clues, man. He left behind what, 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 what actually is called prophecies in the scriptures that, that in the end times, the men of the Lord will be able to deci dec decipher because he gave us, gave us his spirit, man. Uh -huh. the, scripture, the scriptures talk about that in John, the 14th chapter, where he talk about he's going to send us the comforter, man. And he's going to reveal all things unto us, man. So that's how we're able to understand that the current events and link will be able to Mm-hmm. Like he's mentioned, the end has come upon thee, man. Right, upon Israel. Israel's a people before it's a place. That's right. Right. It's talking about the Lord's people because when you go into it, like the Heavenly Father, the brothers read, they say he's going to, for, they, for thy ways, an actual land don't have particular ways. They don't worship idols. That's they, right. You know what I'm saying? The actual land don't worship idols. They don't follow out the heathen. So this was referring to Israel in particular, man. That's right. Okay. And it's going back to when we was in, when we was actually in our land, and what happened? The same thing that's happening now, man. The Jake doing the same thing, worshiping idols. Yep. The brother brought that scripture out earlier today at camp about how that was the beginning and all that. Yep. And it's a rock. Yep, yep. You the, know, it's at the beginning, the end, the cause. It's at the beginning, the cause, and the end of uh, all things. Basically. There we go. But I got, I got a scripture for what you're saying. Yep. Uh, this um, First Peter chapter uh, four verse uh, seven. It says, "But the end of all things is at hand." Be ye therefore sober and watch into prayer. God, 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 the end of all things is at hand, man. Mm -hmm. So again, the scriptures keep reiterating that we're in the last days, man. The end is here. Don't you see it if you're aware of the signs of the prophecies that's taking place, man? Oh, God. Not to cut you off, no, no, bro. go ahead. You're speaking good. about that at camp about um, what the scripture talk about with Esau is the end of the world. Yep. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. I got you. You know, so that's another indication, like the brother was talking about, the prophecies, the signs that our Lord left us, man. Those is one of the signs that Esau was going to be in the position of rulership in the end. So that's how we know we're in the end. That's right. That's because right. What, what, what needed to take place, well, what, like when you read about when, uh, when the Lord, uh, when he came back and he risen upon the third day, mm -hmm. and then they thought the end was going to be there, it was a, a series of events that needed to take place. We needed right. to fall, fall from our go. heritage, yep. lose the, you know, lose the, you know, the, our, our heritage and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and then come back. You know what I mean? Pursuing the Ezekiel 37 chapter. Right. Everything has to be according to the scriptures, and, and the Lord understood and knew this. Yeah, and they say that in the book of Thessalonians. It said, uh, what is that? Second Thessalonians 2, two and yep. 3. Talk yep. about uh, let no man deceive me. Yep. That's right. That's right. So all these, the, all those prophecies had to be fulfilled. That's all right. right. And we basically in a fulfillment of the last few prophecies, all right, uh, that's in the scriptures, man. We in, the, we in that, we're in the midst of the fulfilling of the last prophecies. That's in the scripture, and what come after that, right? Destruction. The, 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 the that's destruction, right. that's but right. that's a prophecy. But I would talk oh, about Jacob, I would, there for, we go. for uh, Israel. That's Jacob, right. That's right. You know? And I got it for you. This is uh, Second Ezra six and seven. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Yep. Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? God. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him. Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, mm -hmm. which that signifies what? Israel pulling Esau out of power by right, way of the word. That, that's right, bro. That, and that's how we're going to pull these devils down, right? The scripture talk about that. Apostle Paul said in Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 10 chapter, pulling down strongholds. Yes, that's right. Yep, yep. And Esau, first and foremost, is a stronghold over these people, right? Because he's the, um, he's the culprit. 
he's a reason as to why people worship idols. Yep, that's right. Yep. That's right. <laughs> he pushes that. You know, yeah, so yeah. Upon the people, man. Because mm -hmm. you know, recently the brother, uh, the, the, we were speaking about it, but the brother Pashad, elder brother, he brought it out. And this whole thing about the lambda and then like you know the variant that all that also goes back to idols, man. Yep. So Esau is basically pushing upon the people, man, idol worship in a in a in a, in a very discreet, kind, and underhanded way, man. Mm -hmm. And people don't even realize it, man. That's right. right. And, and you know what I'm saying? And, and, like, and like the brother said, man, that scripture. What you read? Uh, second letter six. Oh yeah, yeah. Going into that. Yeah, but, and that's how. And basically, what you said. That's how we pulling them down with this word, man. That's right. And the scriptures, the, the scripture, um. Uh, point that out with yeah. pinpoint accuracy the scripture said that you know what i'm saying you, you quoted it that yep. uh second corinthians i believe 10 and 4 mm -hmm. uh just you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's I it. To, yeah i just had to uh chime in on it because it, it also iterates what uh and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh by shimmy out shot right you know, we bringing it to subjection man so that's what we doing through the spirit of power you go ahead right? no and that's the spirit because the the the, the uh the vibration that we started this lesson off was the end and i just thought about the movie on uh netflix called this is the end mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so this this the end right this is it this is it man this is it this is it bro and we, we like saying brothers we excited man you know what i'm saying because yeah. we understand that look we, we about we to get the kingdom, of man. Of God, we about God. to get the kingdom, but I, I got one that after you. You got it. All right, this uh second Edward 6, verse 9. It says, for Esau is the end of the world, God. and Jacob is the beginning of it that right, followeth. Right, and Esau, we, how do we identify Esau? Going to the scriptures, man. The clues, the prophecies yeah. that the Lord left for us. That's how we identify that Esau, Edom, is the so-called right race today, man. That's right. Right, because scripture said he shall be red all over. That's the number one as a spirit, bro. You feel me? Right there, red mm -hmm. devil. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord said he'd be red all over, man, like a hairy, like a hairy garment, man. Okay. Uh, I, got, I got a quick go ahead, bro. Right? This is Second Daniel chapter uh, two. Cause hey, there's about, another red devil. It's like you. You nah, got it, brother. It. Second Daniel <laughs> chapter two, because brother is speaking about the end. Second Daniel chapter two, verse thirty-three. Uh, actually, I get to the point. Verse thirty-four. It says, and, and therefore I say unto you, O ye heathen, which is talking about Israel, That's right. it says that hear and understand, look for your shepherd. It says, he shall give you everlasting rest, for he is not at hand that shall come and enter the world. There it is, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And the only ones who could truly hear it and understand is, like the brother said, the nation of Israel. These heathens can't get this, man. That's right. right. The Lord said, my sheep hear my voice. That's right. The Lord don't have no other sheep, man. Yep. But when the Lord referred to that other sheep, Fold is talking about the northern kingdom. It ain't mm -hmm. talking about no heathens, man. Yeah, it's the, talking about Israel. The scripture say, what people is nigh unto thee as my people Israel, roughly paraphrasing, yeah. man. So, yeah, man, they going to get it in the kingdom. Yep. But like the brother mentioned, he said, he is nigh at hand that shall come in the end of the world. There we go. So, yeah, man, Yahweh Shah is nigh at hand. Don't you see the prophecies once again, That's the right. uproars of the people? Time flying. Time yeah, flying. Bro, you know, it, it's flying. already August, man. Yeah. But bro, it's, 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 the, it's the middle of August. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's just, it yeah. was just, yeah. yeah. Got four more months, bro. Bro, four more months, and we're in 2022, yeah. man. And, huh, and, the man. Fact, and the fact too that that how brothers is like we starting to get uh, more revelations through the through the spirit like this. Yeah. We starting to get more understanding on what's taking place in the scriptures, man. Huh. You know what I'm saying? So that's another indicator that we at the end because the Lord's starting to pour more of that the understanding to brothers, man. There it is, man. There it is. I got it. We can go back in that Ezekiel seven and we'll. Okay. Yeah. This is uh. Ezekiel seven or seven? Seven. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, that's what we started with. Oh, God. This is uh. You, did you want to ask that? No, no, I'm. I'm in Ezekiel 7. Um, let me see. Verse, what was you on? Verse 14? No, go back at the top where yeah, Mark started we at. We was at like verse 2 or oh, verse four. 4. Okay. Ezekiel 7, verse 5. It says, Thus saith the Lord Jehovah, and evil and only evil, Ooh. behold, it's come. Yeah, that's right. And that and, and it's good to talk about how evil is multiple, going to multiply in the earth. Mm -hmm. Roughly paraphrasing. Yeah, yeah. That's right. It's, mm -hmm. It says, because that's what the Heavenly Father is about to send on this place. That was one of the prophecies that was going to be taking place on the, in the last days, in the end. Mm -hmm. Evil. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Pestilence, so on and so forth. Bad times is going to be taking place in the end days. So that's another indicator. When shit start getting hard for people, people losing their jobs. Love of you, many wax and cold. Love of many wax right. and cold, like the brother said. So that's, that's right. another indicator, uh, uh, indication, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. It says, verse 6, an end is come, the end is come. It watches for thee, behold, uh -huh. it is come. There we go. Keep going. It says, the morning is coming to thee. Mm -hmm. O thou that dwellest in the land, the mm -hmm. time is come. The day of trouble is near and not the sounding again of the mountains. Yeah, right. So the day of trouble is near, man. Mm -hmm. Amongst our people, man. 
Okay, and what does the day of trouble consist of? Jeremiah 30 and 7. That's what the day of trouble consists Jacob's of. Trouble. Jacob, Jacob's trouble in particular. And who is Jacob? <laughs> you Israelites, man. You Negroes, Latinos, Native Sooner Indians. That's the main reason why the Heavenly Father sent an evil and trouble upon this place. Mm -hmm. Not because of Esau, you know, but for first and foremost because his people want to follow out the Esau. That's right. And the heathen, man. It says, Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee mm -hmm. and accomplish mine anger upon thee Every, mm -hmm. and I will judge thee according to thy ways mm -hmm. and will recompense thee for all thine abominations and there we go man so that's another indication that it's talking about the people and not the land because lands can't commit abominations that's right we were talking about that earlier man you know, so yeah, just like just make a quick point. Yep. Just like when they say, uh, like, yeah, man, the hood is bad or it's terrible. It ain't the oh buildings God. that's actually doing shit. It's the my people that's in there, man. Come, come. So hey, you got it out. Right. So hey, man, you know, with that, we just wanted to hit this quick lesson. Lord willing, it was edifying. We give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and Kachadash. The modern city of Pasadena, that was a great millstone. We rule well, peace and salutation, blessing to the I can push and swear truth, sincere, shalom, and waffle up a ball. Unless y'all want.